Women, the pin-up girls from the long-running drama Prisoner. In its time, it was the show to watch. Its characters either much loved or much reviled. And this week, they were back together again. I, I promise. Yeah? You no, no, how much do you promise? Oh, yeah, you'll like the story, I promise. Oh, right. The bitch is back. Uh, she's all yours. Oh, and so too is the rest of the gang. Go straight into solitary. Now, can I just be with my mates? No, you can go straight into the laundry with B. Smith. Oh, not that! No, not B. Smith! Locked up in the maximum security of cell block H. Oh, hi. What do you Brady. want? Oh, sorry. Um, I'll just take a moment of your time. Yeah. Um, you, you're like the kingpin of the show, aren't you? No, I'm the top dog, stupid. Oh, 32 years after it first aired, the former prisoners are back behind bars. Hey, you old bitch, hand it over. Bugger her off, you! Come on, Lizzie, I know you've got it. Come oh, on. Colette, it's a far cry from how you arrived at prison last time, isn't oh, it, it is darling? Indeed, darling. Oh, it's indeed, darling. This don't time round, <laughs> it wasn't Wentworth, but Pentridge. No, 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 and they don't look as tough as they once were. Hey, oh, dear, you nearly landed in my lap. Half your luck. <laughs> For those under 30 years of age, you haven't a clue what I'm talking about, do you? But Prisoner was like... And somebody said to me recently, now, how successful was it? And I, I said, well, if you're going to um, put it into today's terms, it was as big as packed to the rafters. It was huge. But isn't it about time you made a move? extended all boundaries. The opening shows had a cast of 16 women and just two men, all of them misfits. Oh, well, it's, very generous. it's a little difficult to go up to these lovely ladies today, all in their 60s and 70s now, and put to them. Would I be right in saying to you that you were like the bullying lesbian on, on there? Or? Well, yes, I was, I was the first... I felt uncomfortable telling you well, that, actually. I was actually. the first icon television. You were, you were. And right. I was proud to carry that banner. What's it to me? I'm stuck in here while Beast's taken over because of you. And Frankie Doyle was some butch bully with a foul mouth to boot who came up with nicknames like this one. Vinegar tits, which went along with an appropriate gesture. Fantastic. <laughs> and you look so prim and proper, you know, and I can't imagine that I word know. coming out of your mouth. Do you know, I was one of those people who was lucky enough not to be recognised when I was doing the show. Poor Val and a lot of the other uh, actors used to not be able to go to the supermarket. Yeah! It was full on for all of them, and Frankie, you know, actor Carol Burns, had had enough after 19 episodes. So much had happened to my character in that first 19 episodes that I said, please, shoot me, shoot me now. That was the way I wanted to leave the series. I didn't want them to be able to lure me back afterwards because we, weren't, we didn't get very much money. It was a very poorly paid job, and we didn't even get residuals. I'm going to do kill myself? Of course not. Yet Prisoner played all over the globe. Mate, Nearly sake. 700 episodes. People were fascinated, taken into a world far removed from theirs. Vinegar tits. Became part of the vernacular <laughs> and Fiona Spencer's me. life. There used to be some young kids and they loved going past my house on their bicycles, calling out very gingerly, Vinegar tits, and then racing off at a million miles an hour. I've never minded it. Yep. She was Vera Bennett, that hard-nosed guard we love to hate. We got a new nickname for you. It's old B's idea. You know what it is? Vinegar tits. It just is one of those things that stuck. And who would have thought that 30 years later... They're still calling would, yeah. you vinegar tits. Yes, yeah. It's a, I think it's a bit of fun, you know? They were all bad, like Peter Tapano, who played Karen, murdered her husband, she did. And the sweet Kerry Armstrong, who played the despicable Karen, put away for abducting and attempting to murder a child. Lynn Warner. Lynn or Lynette? Lynette. What are you thinking? The guards weren't much better. Corrupt officer Joan the Freak Ferguson enforced her will through the black glove, molesting prisoners like the naive Doreen during unofficial body searches. 
The Freak couldn't make last night's reunion, appearing instead on stage in the appropriately named musical Wicked, where she is still remembered for her more famous role. In delicatessens, in supermarkets, I'd open my mouth and I'd say, I know you. And so it was I found myself in the padded cell with Doreen, Colette Mann. OK, Doreen, the uh, freak has brought a little present for you. She couldn't be here tonight, but told me everything what to do. Oh, not the glove. Please, not the glove. But for actor Colette, the glove what wasn't the only Never prop that she'll be remembered by. Has it left such a mark that people still say to you, Doreen? Yes, they do. Yeah. People with very, very, very long memories, and now there's going to be a whole lot of young people saying, where's your teddy bear, Doreen? And you think, they may think it's the first time you've ever heard it. Yeah. And oh, I'm looking forward to that tremendously. Perhaps now, the star of the show was, was this one. <laughs> Nothing much has changed. The story will be good. You'll like the story. You'll like the story, I promise. You jerk. Enough of this nonsense. Can I, can I have Belle Wayman now? I'll go and see if she's in. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Belle. It's Brady. Nice to meet you. Hello, darling. How are Val, you? Belle, like the rest of them, just loved her role. You're sitting in my seat. You've just been keeping it warm for me. Good part. Very multifaceted. Mm. Good fun to play, too. Never wrong, always right, and totally invincible. Better people kept coming in all the time. So I think the strength of the cast was probably the answer there. And you were very lucky. You were one of the nice ones. I was. I was. And that's probably why they kept me for so long, because I was so nice. That's I'm Elspeth so well, Ballantyne. So you remember her better that's as me. Walk the block from episode one till the end. Yeah, that isn't why you want me to resign. You spent a lot of time in jail just quietly, haven't you? I did, I did. But it was, uh, it was a very good job. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. I know. Are you surprised the by the cult that was built up around it? I mean, surprised? right now, anybody... We are utterly stunned. Is that right? I'm still stunned that today people still love it, recognise it, still want to watch DVDs, all yeah. that sort of thing. It's, it amazes me. Your dad realises he hasn't been spending a lot of time with you lately. Prisoner generated not only DVDs, but musicals, stage shows, TV tributes, and a legion of fans through the generations. They swore, they smoked, they bashed each other. It was just everyday life. Wholesome fa family yes, values. Wholesome family mm. farm. It was either the Waltons or Prisoner. I mean, there are fans out there that know every word, every scene, every episode they're fanatical fans and so it was that whenever the prisoner cast gets together the fans shadow like travis embling who follows the prisoner reunions around the world but a lot of people don't fork out two thousand dollar air tickets to go over to events overseas which i did in november i'm doing again for my 40th in april may um, going over again to birmingham and glasgow uh, doing events. Elspeth Valentine will be doing the events there. It was, it's one of, you know... Even the TV critics like Michael Adardo and Andrew Mercado salivate over it. I watched it at school. I know Andrew kind of watched it at school. And I think that it, that's kind of the heart of its appeal, I think, is its relatability. I think a lot of young kids were drawn to it because the prison structure is very much like a schoolyard. You yeah. have a governor standing in for a headmistress. You have office st officers standing in for teachers. You have inmates standing in for unruly students. So there was something terribly relatable about this. The prison was also unique because they took it from the women's perspective. I mean, we've never had a show in Australia's TV history with this many major roles for women. And women Women actually dominating the action and the men kind of whatever, not that necessary to the plot. So now, after 32 years, the original show is back on our screens, airing on Foxtel's Triple One Hits channel. And finally, after all the decades of being seen around the world, they'll finally earn a buck out of it again. I'm on the age pension. I can't afford Foxtel. <laughs> The old girls have still got it. Let me give you a few words of advice. But we loved them better back then, and no one really questioned just how bad a governor Erica Davidson, played by Patsy King, was. But I always thought you were a soft touch. Well, I was in some instances, just depended who it was. Yeah. Like uh, the freak. <laughs> <laughs> and Vera wanted my job. So I, I was very fond of her, but I still had to watch her. I've got to say, I, it was quite remarkable that you held on to your job. I mean, you had riots, you had shootings, you had breakouts, you had... You're pretty it, lousy. I know. I wasn't lousy. It was just that I was blamed for everything. <laughs>
oh and one more thing all these decades on they're preparing once again for the new legion of fans those under 30s i was talking about i loathe stairs mm. you know the ones who do this do it for me judy no stand here yeah. okay you're only it. a pawn <laughs> and go <coughs> and try and walk <laughs> and then move around you yeah. <laughs> And the good ones yeah. often run into a glass window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just say that I don't let the women get away with murder. No, you don't have to reassure us of your strong arm tactics. We've had quite enough evidence of those in the past. It could have been worse. Yeah. You could have been called vinegar tits. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't be nice. ridiculous. Bottles of vinegar are <laughs> bigger than that. Imagine spending your days walking down the street being called vinegar tits. Oh, no, with what permanent creasing hair. Her face isn't crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> Fantastic. Some of them haven't changed a bit, and some are unrecognisable. And I'm pleased to report that Brady made it out alive. Well, coming up, getting into form with the latest shapewear.